it's very much necessary to know the meanings and pronunciations of the verbs if you want to speak english fluently the irregular verbs are very tricky you can manage the regular verbs take for example the word work it's a regular verb if you want to create the past and past participle forms of this word then you have to add ed to it like w r k e d and it is pronounced as worked not worked da it's t ed is written but t is pronounced worked so the past form of work is worked and the past participle form is pronounced as worked so it is very easy work worked worked but the irregular verbs are very tricky certain irregular verbs change their spellings as well as pronunciations in the past and past participle forms take for example the word go go went gone so in this way you can find it very difficult to know the pronunciations of the past participle forms of irregular verbs and if you are using a sentence usage in passive voice or if you are talking about past perfect present perfect or future perfect tense a time then it becomes very difficult for you to use the verb correctly unless and until you know the right pronunciations of these words there are certain irregular verbs which do not change their pronunciations like in past and past participle forms like take for example the word put 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 there are certain irregular verbs which change their pronunciation in the past form but it remains the same in the past participle form like catch caught caught so particularly you have to focus on the three forms of the irregular verbs and their pronunciations if you want to speak english fluently so that you won't waste time when you are formulating a sentence using these verbs you will find a list of irregular verbs in the appendix of oxford advanced learners dictionary at the back side also you will find a list in many other books like uh, in the book Uh, essential english grammar written by raymond moffy also you'll find a list on the web so you check the webs or read uh, books where you can find a list at the same time when you are reading something or you are listening to podcasts or audios or anything else you have to notice how the irregular verbs are changing their pronunciations because that will help you a lot to be a fluent speaker phrasal verbs are very much important if you want to sound natural in your speaking phrasal verbs are very much important and also the, those are tricky phrasal verbs are two words or a group of words a verb plus a preposition or a verb plus an adverb and their individual meanings the individual words have different meanings but while they are combined together they have a different meaning so it's very tricky and sometimes the non native speakers face a lot of difficulties in knowing the exact meaning and usage of the phrasal verbs that's why you have to find out the meanings of the phrasal verbs you have to listen uh, audios or uh, podcast and uh, news and talk shows documentaries and other things and then you have to check out in the dictionaries and uh, once you know the meanings and you know the uses then you have to use them because those give an informal feeling while you are talking in informal situations so using informal uh, speech in speak uh, spoken english is very nice so you have to know the meanings of phrasal verbs but don't uh, try to know all the phrasal verbs because you have to know only those phrasal verbs which are mostly used which are commonly used 